Here is my alarm clock. Here is my second alarm clock and number one. This week I'm off the work on winter holiday and no engine and I know in, in this week so I show my regular day. Now I'm in the garage, five minutes drive away from, from my home. Well, yesterday I took out this engine and transmission from that US marketing Passat and my friend needs Nev racing engine to golf and uh, the, we build, build it from this this is a 2 liter 16 valve uh, a diesel crankshaft and it will be uh, 2000 and 48 cc's which is just beyond beyond the weight class 250 cc's uh, I sent camshafts to regrinding and now I have to take gearbox off and cylinder head off and the assembly the whole engine and inspect that is okay and replace bearings and piston rings and gaskets now is the assembly everything looks fine just need take off air AC compressor and other of her components of engine flywheel we don't use that flywheel and that transmission we use older 020 that is 02A I need wash these parts but in here we don't have running water <laughs> because uh, that that uh, garage is not warm everything frees out and I have to go that owners car uh, engine owners garage and wash these parts no parts are little bit cleaned oils are taking out and facet is pushed the out it's time to lunch break.
my alarm clocks snoozing. <laughs> No way, no new episodes of Boosted Boys. I have to watch this. Still snooting. Here is a little bit side project. I make new flywheel on my racing engine. Uh, this use this kind of shush 184 millimeter clutch disc because we use back transmission and them clutch and uh, pressure plates but they have casted iron discs on this pressure plate and I have a few of them <laughs> crash it it explodes I think it's too high RPMs that engine with which crash this run over 8,000, maybe 9,000 RPMs and probably it's uh, adapter plate or flywheel or just tame, tame. it's that casted iron plate explodes when RPMs are too high other stuff what happens it's that pressure plates slides in the side of this uh, assembly and it takes unbalanced and then crashed but now I test this type of pressure plate and that flywheel and hopefully they won't crash anymore I just tested at that pull pattern is right and it seems to be right and now no, I take it off here is my engine stand that beetle engine has been laid <laughs> over a year in here and, and nothing going on that stuff why it's stop it I, I have to replace cylinders uh, smaller so I can put this engine maybe to the Fiat chassis because there's a limit uh, 1615 cc's if we use uh, other mark engine on the Fiat chassis so that, that is too big engine because it has been run last time in Volkswagen chassis now it's in the engine stand I just realized this is a rod knock special it has one and two knock sensors so this must be Rod Knock Mod Shop special engine. Okay, nothing big happened here, but I ordered uh, gaskets, new clutch, and uh, I have to measure measuring that piston rings because they are. Uh, some some models between different piston rings and and also I need to check uh, bearings I think it's standard but better check before I order it 
now it's at three o'clock and I come to coffee break and my alarm clocks are still snoozing. <laughs> Wake up, I I I just do the same what you do with me. Very nice weather. Coffee break is over and I have to go petrol station to buy some diesel for the heater of the garage. I put my motor home warming up and uploading the battery and it's very very poor starting and and cold cold I bought 20 liter that heater takes 2 liters per hour of diesel it makes 20 kilowatts of heating power now it's filled up and fire here is maybe one or two celsius plus degrees now outside is about same and in minus celsius okay to the engine i just realized i have to take that sheet off and when i i thought i make able to take off the rear flange of crankshaft I I just need take off engine stand and put it back okay I take flange off the same way so I can now now take crank off when block is in the stand and test fit new crank and I see how much pistons will go up for that deck when we put longer stroke crankshaft in the place. No oil pan is off. Here is the very weak uh, oil pan gasket. I don't I haven't seen any kind of this before. But Okay, and here is the crankcase. Very good looking condition. I take one piston out and it's good looking condition. Bearings fine. And these are the uh, smaller piston rings. 1.2 1.5 and 2 millimeters on the oil ring. I have to order new ones and new bearings. These are good, but it's same to put new ones when engine is taking this assembly. Okay, crank is now off. You can see there is oil jets and bearings are very good condition it won't get any better when <laughs> when you replace these kind of bearings okay I have been founded the diesel crank Aribekas Vare hose and uh, I don't know what engine this must be this wasn't a transporter engine because there is the golf flywheel crank seems to be okay nothing nothing on connecting rock bearings and there is <laughs> taken off some uh, main main bearing bolts okay here is the diesel crank it's heavier you can see it by eye these counter knives are Stiffer than this, that, that diesel axle. 
it have the same wood roof on this side it is very easy to put in the petrol engine if you want stroke stroke your engine over two liters I try to squeeze last last few tips of my Hick quality racing oil to the diesel crank so I get oil it before I get it in the place okay first back step in this project uh, these this side of crank will hit that oil squitter oil jets okay I just cleaned it a little bit of the uh, mounting bolts and one edge of this oil jet and now crank will turn smoothly then I got second back step this this will be uh, grinding at the that crank case but I started up my five axis crankshaft <laughs> grinding machine and I take it a little bit off that edge now it turns freely without uh, that thrust bearings or whatever so okay now okay now piston is in cylinder without piston rings and new crank is in the place and now piston comes over two millimeters of the block so I have to uh, machine here about 1.5 and here I put uh, 45 degrees good on the that sharp edge down and piston will raise in the, this combustion chamber that domed part of piston uh, that intake valve side has to be uh, taken flat because here is nothing no room to raise that piston that high here is the regular compression ratio 10.1 and with new crank and that domed pistons it will be uh, 11.9 now I check that clearance of uh, fourth rod and it seems to need a little bit more space now now it's have plenty of room to get over now I grind it with my five axis grinding machine a little bit of of this oil pump shaft and so that is from the block today tomorrow I think I take we take under the work that cylinder head uh, strip all valves and springs off and maybe starting porting with intake and exhaust porch and probably that's end of this engine project today I record if I do some other projects today and add it to this my holiday 
holiday video special. Now let's see what my motorhome says about starting. Okay. Now it's second lunch time and maybe my alarm clocks need some food and fresh water. I came shortly visit on the garage and stripped out all parts of the block so tomorrow I can uh, I can bring it to the machinery shop and they will skim this surface of block and that's the house. 